Welcome to the Celiac Diva! Hi everybody, Lauren Lucille Bassi here from the Celiac Diva. And today I'm throwing at you, should we stay gluten free if we don't have any symptoms, but we have celiac disease? I don't know, should you, should you not, I don't know. Um, I definitely have learned that a lot of people who find out one way or another that they have celiac disease, um, it's a huge challenge and a change for them. I find they're really frustrated, a little fumy. And um, on one hand, I can totally understand that. It's a big shock. Um, so, and on the other hand, I look at them and I'm jealous in a way because for me, four and a half years of pain beyond anything I could have ever imagined um, and my life being put on hold to, fi to, when I, to find out what was wrong with me, um, I would give anything to have that back and to have known and not have any other symptoms. So, on one hand, I totally understand. On the other hand, I am jealous that you found out early and I didn't. So let's just put that out there, okay? All right, so here's the question. The, my question I must ask you is, are you really asymptomatic? Have you ever had any, you know, really take an inventory of your health? Have you ever had low energy, trouble sleeping, gas, uh, sugar crashes, infertility, gum disease, thyroid challenges, anxiety, thirsty all the time? You know, take a look at your health and really see am I, am I in perfect health? Do I feel the absolute best that I could feel? So I think that sometimes people may not acknowledge uh, just because they don't feel horrible. They may not um, be aware of some of the signs that the body is trying to quietly shout to them. So another thing, uh, one reason I think it's really important to stay gluten free is that it's, if you understand celiac disease, I'm gonna assume you do, cause you're on the Celiac Diva website, is that your intestines are damaged whether you like it or not. So you can make a choice. Do I continue to, do I continue to damage them? Do I allow them to heal? Damage them, allow them to heal. Damage them, allow them to heal. That's, that, that's, and if you can allow them to heal, you're gonna protect yourself long-term continue to damage them, you're gonna put yourself in a very vulnerable position long-term. A vulnerable position for psoriasis, Addison's disease, osteoporosis, intestinal cancer, and the list goes on and on and on. Do I think that being fearful is a reason to stay gluten-free? No, I think it's been, it's a gift. You've been given a gift of knowing something that is wrong with you before the world falls down on you. It's like, it's, it's like, it's like you're Noah in an ark. It's like, it's like you know that there's a flood coming and you get to get on a boat, <laughs> like, you know, and not get completely destroyed. And, you know, so it's a gift. You get to decide whether you want to get on the boat or not. Um, <laughs> just cracks me up that I just started talking about Noah in the ark. Okay, so um, you're protecting yourself from symptoms and damage later in life. Also, something else I want to throw out there is to look at your medical history. Any, are there any unexplained illnesses? You know, how did people pass away in your family? For me, there's like colon cancer and a lot of Alzheimer's on the side of my family where all the undiagnosed celiac disease was. And I, did, I don't want to follow in their footsteps as much as I love them. So really, um, I just want to put it back in your court and say that the choice is up to you. Stay gluten-free or not, it's your choice. Just continue to educate yourself and make the right decision that's best for you and know that no matter what you decide, whether you get in the boat or whether you <laughs> stay on what looks like dry land, but the rain could be a coming, people. It's your choice. It really is your choice. Um, you guys have a fantastic gluten-free day and until next time.